everybody, Steve Cook from Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Wow, it's so little. Does this, does this bass make me look bald? Just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> yes, very much so. No, look at this, 26 and a half inches long. This is the, uh, this is the latest offering from Eastwood. It's an Eastwood Airline Pocket bass. So what they've done is they, you know, Eastwood is known for grabbing those old uh, wonderful designs and, and bringing them back. They did a crowdfunding uh, project, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding. They, you know, go fund me. And they said, hey, who wants this? Uh, give us a deposit and we'll make it happen. And so they reached their goal and here we are. So um, again, 26 and a half inches long is a great little short scale bass. Um, who's going to use short scale basses? Well, if you ask G.E. Smith, he said this was the best uh, recording bass he's ever heard. He knows one or two things about vintage instruments. Now, those are the vintage instruments. This is the new one. Um, they have upgraded this from the original 60s model. Um, they have just sort of strengthened it as, as you were. So let's go over some features and then we will listen to this little gem. So again, like I said, 26 and a half inches long. We've got a, a floating tailpiece. We have the tunematic bridge. We have the double, we've got like the, the pool, pool bar, thumb rest, however you want to call it, however you want to play. Pretty cool. I call these angel's wings. Uh, you can call them whatever you want, but, um, but it finishes it out nicely. The controls are very simple. It's a volume control and then a blend. A, a blend? What? There's two pickups? I only see one. Ah, there's a piezo. So we've got the bucker up here. I mean, and this thing is so tight on this neck. And I, and this, I mean, and that sounds silly to even point out, but you know, generally they're like right off here. I love that because you get more meat um, out of the base and on a short scale, again, in a tracking situation, um, it's going to bring it there. So you've got the Powell Faro, um, uh, fretboard. It's a bolt on maple neck. And then you have this sort of ridiculously huge offsetting yet not cumbersome, uh, headstock. And I'm going to flip this over so you can see more of the contour. There's contour on this part here and then there's contour on the back so again a cool little feature um originally it is suspected that these were made out of leftover guitar bodies and so they again just eastwood has just stuck with that whole thing and uh and and made it work so now um let's get into some tones on this little bad boy uh today's single chain is very simple it is this guy into the Aguilar Tone Hammer, we're using the DI on that, into an Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. So, um, let us jump in and we're gonna hear the bucker. This is just the humbucker up top. So, why why is that cool? Well, it's deep, it's thuddy, it's uh, still has clarity, nice punch. But then if you want to go, you know, since there's no tone control on this, which is probably why they did this, but now there's the piezo. And there's a little notch right here where it stops you halfway. So now it's a perfect blend between the two pickups. Here it goes. It gets a little crispy uh, and you hear a little bit of the, uh, the fret noise, finger noise. The things that make a bass unique and kind of give it its thing. Now we're going to go full on. Obviously more powerful. on this neck it is so it is so little and uh well little or more little i should say than what you would be used to if you were a p player or even a jazz player why is this bass so cool well let's say i'm 10 i'm 10 on the inside yes i know but um but let's say i am just starting out and i have smaller hands um you know a bass can be 
daunting, you know, and kind of scare you. So um, it scares me every day. But, uh, but this in your hands as somebody starting out would be more comfortable. And, and then if you're a guitar player, as a lot of you guitar players do, you like to play bass. Uh, this is right in your wheelhouse. This is your scale, and it's a, it's a great sounding instrument. You can uh, you're going to be more comfortable on a bass like this. I mean, your your stretch. I mean, we're six frets, you know, almost seven on that kind of thing. Um, you know, you you can do a lot as a guitar player with this bass. Now, it's not starting instrument money. You know, it's a little bit more expensive than maybe a beginner instrument. However, uh, if you have a home studio. Um, this is a great place to start if you want to put a bass in your arsenal and your guitar player. Uh, I understand that, that you want to jump in and say, I got to have a P or a jazz or things like this. But again, echoing GE Smith, this is a great sound little bass. So you might want to start here. So again, this bass has been rolled out. It will appeal to a lot of people. Put it in your arsenal as well. But don't take my word for it. Okay, maybe you should take a little bit of my word for it since I wrote the review, which you can read in Premier Guitar and online at premierguitar.com. And while there, you should subscribe to our video channel. Everybody does. Brian May's Rig Rundown, 3.1 million views. Almost as many views as Gangnam Style. We're close. <laughs> People are like, why did he even reference that? You know why? Because. So anyhow, for Premier Guitar and premierguitar.com, this is Steve Cook, and I'll see you guys real soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.